Growing up in Ireland, baking was part of my everyday life. My mum was an amazing cook and she inspired me to become a professional chef. Since then, I have travelled the world perfecting my craft and developing my own unique style. Whether it is over-the-top desserts or even single-serving microwave snacks, I like to say that baking is a science, but it's not rocket science. Everyone can do it. So follow my game-changing recipes and techniques and you will be a bold baker too. Hi Bold Bakers, welcome to episode 4 of my Bold Baking Bootcamp. Last week we made gluten-free flours and this week we are making delicious nut milks. Now nut milks have made their way into our everyday diet. We have them in drinks and a lot of our baking recipes. They are really easy to make and they're really delicious. I'm going to show you how to make the top 3 most popular nut milks. We're going to start out by making almond milk. So it's really easy, in a large bowl you soak almonds overnight. Soaking them overnight makes them really nice and soft and easy to blend. So after around 8 hours of soaking you want to remove this water. So once you drain off the water we're going to take our pitcher for our blender and we're going to pour in our nuts. Now the nuts that you want to use are unroasted and unsalted, they're called raw nuts. And the beauty of this recipe is you don't have to just use almonds, you can use any type of nut that you like, it's very versatile. On top of our nuts we're going to add in some water. Now the water you want to use is purified or filtered water. Okay and that's it, dairy free milk is just two ingredients, could not be simpler. So we're going to go on with our hat and then blend it up. So we want to blend this up for roughly two minutes until the nuts are really fine. It looks kind of milky and it's a little bit foamy on top. Also I recommend using a blender to make your nut milk and not a food processor because you'll get much better results from a blender. Okay there you go. Looking lovely, you see how I said it's nice and milky? This is what we want, so now it's time to strain this guy. So here I have a bowl lined with a sieve and a tea towel, a nice clean tea towel of course, and then we're just going to pour in our nut milk. And this is going to strain out that almond pulp that's left in our milk. You can also use a nut bag or a cheesecloth to strain it, it's up to you. Once all your milk is in there, take the corners of your tea towel, and then we are just going to strain away all of the liquid, separating it from the pulp. Now as always, this recipe can be found on my website, biggerbolderbaking.com, along with all my other bootcamp recipes, so make sure you check that out. And if you haven't already done so, make sure you subscribe to my channel. So as you can see, this recipe makes around a quart of milk, which is quite a lot of milk that will last you for a few days. Now you need a little bit of elbow grease for this, give it a nice good squeeze. This is where all your exercising comes into play. Now here's a little trick for you. You see this pulp that we have left over? lots of lovely ground up almonds, you can actually dry this out and use it for almond flour. It works really, really well. And if you don't want to do that, pop it into the fridge and add it into your smoothies at breakfast time. It's really, really great nutrients to add in there. We do not waste on bigger boulder baking, so I don't want to see you throw this out. Okay, lovely, so we have our milk, it looks great. Now we just want to pour it into a container. Store your milk in a container that preferably has a lid. Now this will last in the fridge for up to four to five days. Just look at that. It even smells great. So this is almond milk and I'm going to show you really quickly how you can make a cashew milk and a coconut milk. So to make cashew milk you soak your cashews in water just like before but for cashew nuts you only need to do it for two hours and it's the same dealio as before we're just going to take off the water put it into our food processor add in new purified or filtered water and then blend it up for another two minutes until it's nice and milky and foamy on top. Once it's blended strain it through a tea towel removing the nut meal from the milk. What I really like to use cashew milk for is in like homemade lattes or even in like kormas and curries and things like that. I just love the nuttiness of it. Okay, and then just like before, keep your pulp, waste not, want not, and then we're going to pour our milk into our container. So at this stage with your milk, you can add in different flavors like vanilla, maybe a little bit of cinnamon, some agave for sweetness, go nuts and you can do whatever flavor you like. Okay, so this is our cashew milk. Next, we're going to move on to coconut milk, which is a little bit of a different method. So this coconut milk we're going to make is a little bit different than the others because we don't need to soak our coconut. You put it straight into your blender with some hot water. It is a gorgeous coconut milk to add into drinks, to curries, to soups. It's really delicious. Now the coconut you want to use is shredded and unsweetened. And then our water. Now the reason you use hot water is so it plumps up and kind of quickly soaks your coconut. Okay, and then on with our lid and then just like before, blend up for two minutes until it's nice and milky. So a note about this coconut milk, you actually can't use it for my two ingredient no machine ice cream because it doesn't have enough fat solids, but it will work great in smoothies, drinks, curries and soups. And then just like before, strain your coconut milk. And then of course, feel free to hang on to the bits of grated coconut, you can snack on it, smoothies, whatever you like. 
Okie dokie, this looks great, smells amazing, now we're going to put it into our container. Now just like the other nut milks, this will last fresh in your fridge for four to five days and I'm sure you'll use it way before then. Okay, that's it. Three easy recipes for dairy-free nut milk and they're absolutely delicious. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Bold Baking Bootcamp and make sure you check out all of my other videos.